Repeating invoices is one of my favorite features within Xero. Um, and this is really where you can get some of those efficiencies and time savings um, once you've got everything all set up and ready to go. So you may think when I say repeating invoices, you may think you can't do that because you don't do regular um, invoicing to clients. Maybe you're just one-off jobs. Um, but if you do have any kind of subscription or retainer-based invoicing, then this is perfect for you. Um, and it doesn't just have to be the same amount every month or every year, however it is. Um, and I'll show you exactly how this is. Um, this will also work for landlords where you're trying to do um, like rent or, or things like that as well. So to do repeating invoice, you need to come into the invoicing section. And you can either come to repeating and click on new repeating invoice or... If you just go into the invoicing, if you click down, do new repeating invoice. Um, so the first thing you'll do is sort out your invoice, your customer. And then if you choose then how often you want it to repeat. So it can be in weeks or months, every month. If it's quarterly, it'd be every three months. If it's annually, 12 months, 24 months, if it's biannually, by monthly, however you need to do it, you can set it up here basically. Um, so I'm just going to do one here as an example of every month. You then choose the invoice date, so the date that you want it to go out. Um, and that could be anything from today's date, next week, the week after, whenever it is it's due to go. You then state when it's due. So I'm going to do seven days after the invoice date. And if it is a set contract, so you're going to be invoicing, say, every month for six months, you can put the end date in here. So this will be the day of the last invoice. So this is really good if you're working on a project and you're doing stage payments um, that are equal or not equal. But this is a really good way of setting that up and getting that efficiency there. You've then got choices. So you've got save as draft, approve, and approve for sending. So most people will either use the save as draft or the approve for sending. So if it is like a retainer invoice and it's a set standard monthly, 250 a month retainer, for example, you can set it to approve for sending and it literally is gonna do what it says. So as of the invoice date, it will raise the invoice approve it and send it um so if you've got like a 12 month retainer you'll do that once set it up once and then when you get to that stage every month it'll set it all up for you oh sorry raise the invoice for you approve it and send it without you having to do anything other than set it up initially so that's going to save you tons of time um, and then similar to how you would do for other invoices a reference if you need to um, and obviously make sure you got the right brand. You then put in the subscription. So I'm just going to put it in like this. And then obviously the account code and everything like a normal sales invoice. You'd then click it to save. And then that would be done. You confirm the invoice amount, uh, the wording for the invoice. Sorry, my son's in the background asking a question. Good at working from home. Um, and then you click on done. So that's set for every single e email that goes out with the invoice. So done. And that's now all saved. So as you can see, that's now sitting in your repeating invoices. You can see it goes every one month. That's the next date and it'll be approved and sent. And of course, if you want to have it that you've got the end dates on, if there is a set contract, then you can easily sort by this as well. So you can see what contracts are coming to an end and potentially need renewing and things like that. The one thing to remember is the amount will be the amount including VAT. So don't stress if you look at that and go, oh, that's not right. Um, it's just, it's including VAT. So it's the total amount of the invoice. 
Um, and you can always go into it, click in and change it and everything if need be. If something changes throughout the contract and you can then change that. Um, so say so you need to, to put in um, software. I'm just trying to think of examples here where you resell that. And you can change it and save it. And then that will automatically save as the next for the next one. So that's all well and good if, as I said before, you know exactly how much it's going to be and it's the same amount every single time. But it could be that you've got a customer where you do, say, five hours a month for them. Or, sorry, five hours a week for them. Now, it's a retainer, so you know you're going to be invoicing them every month. However, the good old calendar, you're not going to have the standard 20 days or four weeks in every month so although it's five hours a week the the number of hours in a month will differ so what you can do is you can set it up so I'm just going to rewrite this one over just so that you can see so you would save it as a draft let's take that out and then let's put hours work for and then here's a little tip placeholders you can put in month or month and year whatever it is you need to do and what it will do is it'll automatically take the month from the month up here um so if it's hours worked when the invoice gets sent in february it'll say hours work for february and so forth so this will only work if what you're referring to is the same month as what the invoice is going to be dated to. So if you don't, for example, if you invoice on the first of the month for the hours in the previous month, then this won't work because it will take it from the first of the month date rather than the previous month where the work was done. So we're just going to leave that in and we're just going to put a quantity of one for now at £25 an hour. And then what you do is you'd press save. So I'm just going to change this back. So it is today's date. So what that would do is on the first of every month, oh, sorry, on the next invoice date, it will raise an invoice and save its draft. You can find it here in your drafts. So this will be set up. On the billing date and then you can just come in and say right for this month I did five hours a week or one hour a day whatever it is you can work out how many hours so let's say it was a four week month so four is 20 done and then you can just approve the invoice and send it out like you would a normal invoice so yes you're having to do some manual every month but the bulk of it will already be done for you as a template all you're doing is going in and changing the quantity so that's a really simple and easy way of doing something on a monthly basis or repeating getting those efficiencies um but and making use of the software so i hope that helps um understand what repeating invoices are and how they can work for you <laughs>